If you've ever come across life insurance offers, you may have been a little confused about what to do. Some employers offer life insurance or they offer to pay for it, but then there are two main types of life insurance and once again, this isn't taught in school so you now have to make a choice, but you aren't so sure which one is right for you or which one actually makes more sense because you're going to be paying a premium every single month, right? And you don't want to waste your money on something that doesn't help you the way you want it to when the time comes. Now, if you have life insurance, whether through your employer or you did it by yourself, Comment down below and let me know what type of life insurance you chose to go with and also the reason why as opposed to the other types of life insurance and then see if you feel the same way about it after watching this video. So although this subject seems complex, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. There are only two main types of life insurance. Now, just before I get into these two types and start comparing them, a very quick reminder, if you're new here and you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian, and here on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, save money, investing, banking, and all things personal finance related. So if these are topics that will interest you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the notifications when you do so, so you can get the updates on when I post new videos here. And I post a new video here every single day on YouTube. So back to the life insurance types. Now the two main types of life insurance are term life insurance and then permanent life insurance. And as the name suggests, term life insurance is for a specific period of time, which is why it's called term life insurance. And then permanent life insurance is for as long as you're around. So you can get a term life insurance policy for let's say 10, 15, 20 years, and the premiums for the term life insurance policies are usually much cheaper when compared to other types of life insurance. Now, whenever the term is up, you have the option of renewing the policy, but at this point, the cost or the premium is going to go up a bit, usually more than double what you were paying before. So if you had a life or if you had a term life insurance policy for let's say 20 years and you were paying let's say $20 a month, at the end of 20 years, if you decided that you wanted to renew it, your new premium wouldn't be $20 per month anymore. Now usually it would be more like $80 a month or even more. So term life insurance is temporary and it's just for when you want it. Now the reason why people get term life insurance is because one, it's cheaper when compared to other life insurance types and also two, they may have a specific date in mind when they know they won't need life insurance anymore. So think about this for a while now. Life insurance isn't for the person taking out the policy. It's usually for the spouse or the kids or someone who depends on that person. So for example, if you had let's say two kids and they were very young and they depend on you to survive because they can't work and take care of themselves, then you'd want to have life insurance so in the event anything happens to you and you're no longer around or able to provide for them, then they won't starve to death and end up on the street. But at the same time, that is the only reason why you want to have life insurance just to be able to provide for them in the event you're no longer around. So when they become adults, then you don't need the life insurance coverage anymore because at that point, they'll be old enough to take care of themselves and they won't be depending on you anymore. So in this example, you could take out a term life insurance policy just for the years until they reach adulthood or at an age where you think they'll be able to take care of themselves. So a 15 or a 20 year life or term life insurance policy could be used here as you get the coverage you need only for the years that you need it and it costs you much less than the other types of life insurance. Now just to make sense of this, if you're in your 30s, right, and you're still relatively healthy and you don't smoke or have any serious health conditions, you could get a term insurance or a term life insurance policy and coverage for about $20 or less per month, which provides you coverage for about 20 years. And if you're younger, let's say in your 20s, then it's even cheaper. So if you have a date in the future where you think you'll no longer need insurance and you want to keep the cost as low as possible but still be able to provide the coverage needed for your family or dependents, then term life insurance is the option that you want to go with. Now, I hope this clears up term life insurance for you and if you understand what it is and what it does, drop me a comment down below uh, letting me know if this was clear and simple enough to understand. Now, moving on to permanent life insurance, which is the other type of life insurance. 
Now, you may hear about whole life insurance and whole life insurance is the same as permanent insurance. And you may have also heard about universal insurance and it's also permanent insurance or permanent life insurance. So permanent life insurance is as the name suggests, it's permanent. Now, once you have this type of insurance or life insurance, you pay your premiums on time, then you'll have coverage for the rest of your life. It won't ever expire and you don't need to renew it. All you need to do is to ensure that you pay your premium and you never miss a payment and also never be late on your premium payments. Now, if you listen to Dave Ramsey, he tells people a lot that term life insurance is no good and whole life insurance is the only insurance you need to have. And the reason for this is that whole or permanent life insurance has a cash value built in that you can surrender at any time and get cash from this life insurance policy. Now, another benefit of having a permanent life insurance policy as opposed to a term life insurance policy is that you'll only have to take a medical exam once. Your premium also stays the same for the rest of your life, or at least that is an option where you can get a flat rate premium that never changes. Now, if this were term life insurance, as you get older, the cost would go up and each time you need to renew, you would have to take a medical exam. Now, another cool feature of permanent life insurance is how you can pay the premiums. So if you have the money right now, you can actually pay your life's premium in full or you can pay it off over a short time span, maybe two to five years. And then after that, you'll actually own the coverage for life and you'll never have to make a payment towards that insurance again. Now on the permanent life insurance, you have other insurance types. So one such type is universal life insurance, which is still a permanent life insurance policy, but it allows you to modify your insurance so as to keep up with any changes you experience in your life. So to make some more sense of this note, for example, let's say you had universal life insurance. You pay a monthly premium of $200, for example. You lose your job and you find another job, but you make way less money. And so you want to reduce the coverage and also the monthly premiums, but you don't want to give up your permanent life insurance policy. Now with universal life insurance, you are able to make these adjustments to your coverage and it's much more flexible. The other type of permanent life insurance I mentioned before is whole life insurance. Now, this is the one that Dave Ramsey talks about all the time. It's the best in my opinion, and also if you want as much as possible from the policy and you can afford to pay for it, then this one is really good. The main reason is that these types of life insurance policies have a cash value that grows every year and you are able to take that cash value from the policy at any time you please. Now, this is also a good way to build wealth or to even build wealth for the next generation of your family. So now that I've explained what the main types of insurance or life insurance are and what each does, what do you think about these types of life insurance now? If you're also wondering which one is best, I would say there isn't one that's better than the other. Now, the reason for this is that people want life insurance policies for different reason and uh, reasons and they have different goals. So depending on what you need it for or how long you need it for, then that should determine which one of these policies you'll go with. The most important thing here is that when you die, you want to have some life insurance. Doesn't really matter which one unless you have no dependents, then in that case, it really doesn't matter and you probably won't even need life insurance to begin with. So I hope you guys liked the information in this video and I hope the information was clear and simple enough for you to understand. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see new videos that I post. And remember guys, I post a video here on YouTube every single day. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, comment your thoughts down below and any questions you may have. And be sure to also drop a like on this video as it really helps to get this video to more viewers. And I'll also really, really appreciate it. And hitting the like button is free. And also guys, remember I'm searching for more ideas for videos. So if there are any topics that you'd like me to talk about, comment them down below. And this video was actually also requested by a subscriber here on the channel a few weeks ago, I think. His name is Miles. So thanks for the video idea, Miles. Now also guys, I left a couple links down below to free stuff and free cash cashback offers. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for all kinds of free stuff. Now, if you're a new viewer or subscriber here on the channel, be sure to check out my other videos on high yield savings accounts, 
checking accounts, investments. And guys, I'm leaving a card at the top of the screen right now that links to my other video about the best investment apps or platforms that you can use to invest in. So check that out. Now, credit cards and ways to make money are also videos that I have here on this channel. So you guys can check those out as well. Also guys, be sure to check out Webull, which is a free and easy to use investment app or platform. And by signing up using the link down below in the description, you'll get two free stocks that can be valued at anything over a thousand dollars after you deposit just a hundred dollars in your investment account. Now, if you like the stocks that you get, you keep them. If not, you can sell them and keep the cash, or you can use that money to invest in other stocks that you'd prefer to own. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. All the best, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.